Mr. Wright? Simon Wright, are you there? Uh, Mr. Wright, my name is Kirk Roberts, and I'm with PGV Films, and we're working on a project about the 10-year anniversary of, uh, of, of something that you... Go on, get out of here! Go on! Um... I told you I don't want to talk to you people. Go on, get! Mr. Wright, if I could just have a minute of your attention... Don't make me get my other stick. Go on, Mr. Get. Wright, please. It would, be, it would be just a minute of your time. No, nobody's home. You've Simon, got the wrong number. Simon, I talked to your wife. And she said I could come out here and talk to you. She asked me to. You talked to her? D did she want to talk to me? Simon Wright was a household name at one point, but nobody's heard from him in years because the story he broke ten years ago took over his life, his career, his marriage, probably. In the end, I guess you could say the story broke him. This is footage from a documentary that was made at the time. In 2011, the CDC released a guide on how to prepare for and coexist with zombies. Within a year of its release, the first of the dead appeared. A week after that, the outbreak was contained. I don't know if I would have called it a zombie apocalypse. It was more of a zombie inconvenience. I'm not talking about zombies. Please, sir, if you could just spare me a moment. It's the 10th anniversary, and we're doing a retrospective series telling stories about everything that all of us have been through and how we learned to deal with the dead. Boy, you really don't understand the word. I am not talking about zombies. Would it be okay if we talked inside? Wait, did she say I could go inside? She'll be gone for one hour. I was a respected political journalist. I ended up the king of zombie talk radio. I didn't ask for that. This project needs you, Simon. I know that you never intended to be the center of all this, Look at what Look at what you did for people. You were their rock, their their rutter. You broke the story. You coined the term zombie inconvenience. I was using air quotes when I said that, and everyone started saying that because it was less alarming. And surprise, surprise, what do you know? People started getting eaten to death. But, but don't you think people needed that? They were scared. They were Confused. They needed someone to help them sort it all out. Who would have guessed that ten years later there would be debates about necrovitalization in the workplace? Hmm? I don't care. No pulse! No, no pay! No way! No pulse! No pay! No way! No pulse! No, no pay! No way! Zombies are human beings. They should be treated with dignity, not put to work like some undead Roombas. This is life privilege at its very worst. They've taken good jobs away from blooded Americans, and they're giving them away to them pasty face creepers back there. Not no more, though. We're taking back what's ours. They poked the bear. They poked the bear. We're poking back. You see, Simon, these are the stories that need to be told. These are the stories that you need to tell. Are they? For every pets out there, there's some idiot trying to make them into pets. For every nonprofit trying to help a senior citizen with Medicare Part Z, there's a dozen crooks out there trying to cash in on them. Do you remember the ZFL? Do you remember Shorty Cook? You leave him out of this. Shorty Cook was a regular guest on Simon's radio show. They were on the air together when the calls started coming in. My policy, as you well know, supports the rights of all Americans, whether they be living or recently deceased. Shorty put his political career on the line, standing up for undead rights. Now he stands for something else entirely. A small New Hampshire town is making news today as party leaders prop up an unconventional candidate for office. I like how we ain't afraid to say what we're all thinking, you know? I can't talk about zombies anymore. I talked about zombies for years, and look where it got us. We've been living with the dead for a decade now. But you were the one that got us through it. Ask about the first time I saw a zombie, I can't remember where or when. But ask what I do remember, Simon Wright. On the air, 
talking people down. We wouldn't have, have made it ten years if it wasn't for you. Tell our stories. Tell Shorty's story. For Shorty? For Shorty. For the pull-out couch in the basement? That's really between you and your wife. Mm. Being alive is all in your mind. It's gone in a flash. Might as well enjoy the ride. It takes its toll, cause that's what it does, sure. It isn't easy, no, I never said it was. We're going to open up the phone lines and take your calls. Karen in Wellesley, you've dialed the right number. Yeah, hi. Simon, there's one of them things on my pool deck. How do I make him go away? Callers, if you're listening on hold, I want you to ask yourself, can my problem be solved with my poking stick? If your answer is, I don't have a poking stick, you can just hang up right now. Even you will soon. 